Good morning, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Dana's Wanderlust Crochet with Dana and the breakfast in bed. I don't make the bed puppy. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting on him to make that bed, but I'm probably going to have to do it myself again. So, a uh, couple things this morning. Um, first update on the bomb dog giveaway where I've asked for, you know, handmade items to give to, oh, I'm going to try the VFW and some uh, local nursing homes uh, there where I live with mom um, to give those to in December. So, um, just to recap, so um, if you didn't see the other video, if you send me um, one of your handmade items to give to a veteran in a in a care facility, whether I go through the VFW or um, a couple of specific nursing homes, um, then I will uh, put your name on a list, numbered, and then I'll use a number generator in December to choose one and I'll send one of my um, gift boxes. Uh, I like to send um, not just, you know, yarny goodness, or whatever, you know, if you're not a yarning person and you watch my channel, you know, let me know what kind of things you're into. Because what I usually send with whatever the giveaway, unless it's a crochet society box, I send, you know, all these gift items that I pick up at gift shops and truck stops, you know, on roadside places while I'm out. This thing is so heavy. It is so full of stuff um, to to send to the winner. So I'm very excited about that. Um, what is that? I don't know what that is. Some message from the company. Um, so, and I, oh, I got an email from Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. So she's sending some things. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget that Rose has, you know, the wings program that she collects for. I'm gonna link that playlist. Um, Rosalie Ride It, Yarn It Out is always looking for items for um, her local VA hospital. Um, and, oh my goodness, there's the Linus Project. There's Hats Not Hate, which I, I think the deadline for this year has passed for that, but there's always next year. Blue Hats for Hats Not Hate. Um, there are a lot of, you know different charities and I'm hoping you know in October if you haven't chosen one to send something to that this is the month you do that um, so that's just an update and I had lots of people uh, comment under that video that they were gonna send something I've had quite quite a handful of people said they were gonna send something which um, surprised me because I know there are a lot of people out there who just do work for charity all the time um, and you know doing charity work is not new to a lot of you um, and to just add one more to the list you know, <laughs> I get it I get it so um, I'm pleasantly surprised that some of you are actually gonna send something that just that makes me feel so good um, and I'm doing this in honor of my late husband, which you saw the uh, thumbnail, that was another picture of him um, <laughs> looking so mean. <laughs> that guy was far from mean. If I remember to, at the end of this video, I'll tell you a funny story. Um, this morning, I am in Button Willow, California, and I want to shout out to my friend Milda, who um, lives in this area. Love you, girl. And um, I'm just sitting here. I wanted to. Uh, I'm using this cheap planner. I shouldn't say cheap. Less expensive planner than what I've been trained to use. And it has worked okay, but the more I use it, the more I want to go back to using a Franklin planner. Franklin planners actually require a little training to use them, to fully utilize them and justify, you know, the cost of a Franklin planner. So I have, I have ordered a uh, a master pack from Franklin Planner and a quarter pack to start in October for the rest of this year. So I'm going back to using my Franklin and going back to my training. It just, 
you know, that kind of stuff gets ingrained in us. And, and the more I use this, the more I realize, oh, I miss that planner. And I have enough going on now to justify that and using my training to use that. So if you haven't ever, you know, checked out a Franklin planner, um, you know, get the training. Uh, it You don't have to go. It's seems you know I did it um, I had a little training pack it wasn't you know it's not like you know taking a college course or anything but um, uh, <clears throat> years ago when I did the training it was to, it was cassette tapes for crying out loud and I played them over and over again and went over that planner and made sure I understood how the system worked thoroughly because I love that system pretty sure they've got something online now I'm I'm sure so go check out Franklin Covey dot I think it's Franklin Covey dot com or Franklin planner dot com it's it's all part of the Franklin Covey system I got the seasons pack um, the blooms is really nice and they have some you know I get the two page per day monthly planner um, they have weekly planners they have they have a lot of great stuff and no I'm not affiliated with them there's no affiliate link um, I I just, uh, I don't believe there's another um, system out there that really, um, that really catches up to them. So anyway, blah, 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 planner time. I do this in the morning and at night. And um, what else was I going to talk about? I don't remember. Oh, I was going to, I'm going to do another, <laughs> I'm going to do another um, uh, pattern I'm going to start another pattern giveaway this morning and sometime next week I will choose the winner for that up to a $10 value I'm not affiliated with anybody not YouTube or anything like that you need to be 18 or older to do this it's open worldwide um, you, the winner will you know, scour the internet for a pattern that they would like to win up to a $10 value and I will pay for two of them because my eyes will be on it too because I'm going to download it needs to be a file that I can email to you um, that's uh, it can't be one of those that stays on a website you know it's got to it's got to be downloaded so I can email it to the winner um, and I'll pay for two like I said to support the designer and um, yeah so that's going on so this story about Wayne we were living in Qatar in Doha um, and he because he was working on base handling um, Ivar the terrible the uh, bomb dog um, I love Ivar <laughs> Maybe I can show you a picture of Ivar. Um, and this picture was actually taken in Doha um, on base. But uh, anyway, I was in, we lived in um, an apartment complex. They called them villas over there. And I was in one of the spare bedrooms. These villas, it was so hot there. One day it was 136 degrees. It's hot there. And um, these villas, we had nine window air conditioners in our villa. And I'm standing in one of the little bedrooms that weren't being used. We had set it up for like laundry and ironing. And I was ironing one of his shirts. And he's buck naked. He's just standing there. He walks up to the door. He's buck naked and he's talking to me. And we're having a conversation. And I do not even remember what I said to him. <laughs> I think I said something like, well, you're going to have to wait until I finish ironing this shirt because you're not going to work in a wrinkled shirt. And <laughs> he throws his hand straight down by his side, throws his head back, uh, and the whole time his arms are just stiff by his side, throws his head back, turns around, now remember he's buck naked, flips his body around and goes, oh, you hate me. And he goes, flopping into the bedroom and he throws himself face down on the bed and goes <laughs> this is a big big burly man <laughs> I am laughing so hard I am crying over the ironing board that's my guy that is way <laughs> You hate me! Ah! <laughs> a 
love that guy. Oh my goodness, he's so funny. So anyway, that's a little insight into what the bomb dog was like. And uh, I'm, I'm going to his photos right now. I was just looking at his photos, albums, bomb dogs. And here is Ivar the Terrible. Uh, affectionately known as Baby Dog. That was at the vet's office. And that Kong in his mouth, he would not let it go for anything. <laughs> oh, Ivar, I wanted to adopt him. Um, in fact, I we tried at one point, but we couldn't get anybody to respond. But anyway... That's us this morning, Button Willow, California. Hello, Milda. Um, we are headed into Southern California. Not my favorite place, but um, hopefully we're going to be just in and out of there quickly. Hopefully my um, DM is getting me out of here. He's trying, I know that. But um, this company sure bragged about, you know, all the freight they get and all this, you know, we broker our own freight, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You got all this freight. It's all on I-5 in California. Tell me you got all this freight. I I got more miles with with May Trucking Company, but <clears throat> May Trucking Company doesn't pay very well. So anyway, uh, that's my sob story, <laughs> and that's my story about Wayne. <laughs> So if you, you know, I'll link that video in the description box also, um, where I'm talking about that giveaway, um, in honor of Wayne. And just a reminder, I plan on doing something like that starting in January so that in February I can give some items, um, because that's a slow time of year for, um, most charities, um, homeless, you know, I'm worried about homeless vets and vets in, um, care facilities. So anyway, we're going to go. I love you guys. Bye.